Gigabyte's Aorus X299 Gaming 7 motherboard is packed with useful features, and right now if you buy one you can also get the Aorus X299 Experience Pack with bonus items including a hoodie, LED strip, and 12 month XSplit subscription. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! So for a couple months now, my wife and I have been intending to sort of revamp and redo our computer room. Uh, a few different reasons for this. One is that we haven't really done a full thorough cleaning of it since we moved in. So it's a bit dusty in the corners and difficult to get back into the corners since it's gotten kind of piled with stuff. And then we also wanted to install and integrate sit-stand desks, vertical desks that have, are motorized and can move up and down. Now, quick disclosure, my wife actually works at Monoprice, so we did buy these sit-stand desk frames as well as the monitor arm mounts for them, but we did get them at cost, so wanted to let you guys know about that. But of course, this whole project started with a fair amount of cleaning out of stuff that was already in here, so cle clearing out the desks that already existed, and then I seem to have gotten a lot more clutter up in my half of the space than my wife, but uh, after a fair amount of elbow grease and most of the day working on Saturday evening, we were able to get everything cleared out and finally cleared out enough space to actually start putting the desk frames together. So after dinner, we actually started getting all the parts out of the box and setting up at least the frame for my wife's desk. Uh, everything was pretty simple as far as how it came apart. Uh, there's two legs for either side. Those are the heavy parts. Those actually have the motors in them. There's a couple flat cross sections that go across the base of each of those and then a couple flat pieces that go across the top. And then the center you can actually sort of uh, unscrew and then you can make it wider or narrower depending on the size of your desk. Again, these are frames, so they actually don't come with the desktops on them. So we took the desktops off of our existing desks and those were just uh, from Ikea and we were able to transfer them over and put them on top of these frames after they were uh, set up and built. Underneath each frame, there is a control box. You just gotta wire some cables over from either side to plug that into uh, the actual control box. And then the control box has a little breakout part uh, that you can actually attach towards the front of the desk where you can actually control it. And then that has a, a display screen on it. It has three memory settings, uh, one, two, and three. So you just basically press the up and down arrows to get the desk to go to the height that you want. And then you press memory and then tap the button you want it to be and that saves it there. And then you can just hit one, two, or three to have it go up or down to the preset height that you want. Uh, if you're gonna set it up like I did, basically I have a height that's set up for standing, which is what I have it set up to right now. And then I also have a, a height that's set up for sitting. So all you have to do is press that uh, saved preset and it will lower down to that height uh, if you wanna sit or raise up to the height uh, for standing, which is, which is what it should do. You don't have to do a hand crank or anything like that. Um, now there was a couple quirks here. I will point out that, that you're supposed to be able to do a reset thing on mine. Uh, by holding down the uh, the M button, and that just doesn't seem to function at all on my wife's. It worked, so uh, who knows? Uh, but fortunately, if I press one, it's able to go all the way to the lowest setting. Then I was able to program in height two and height three, so functionally it is working just fine for me. It's also pretty quiet. I mean, it's not like silent or anything like that, but it's not like a loud noise or anything. Yeah, you can probably hear that going on below me. It's not too bad at all. Now once the sit-stand desk frame and top are built and the top is put on, uh, the next step is to set up the monitors. And you can just set monitors directly on the desk, but uh, we went with these monitor arms attached to the back, and that way they can be readjusted to go forward or back or whatever. And of course, since they're attached to the desk, when the desk goes up or down, the monitors go up and down along with it. So, so you can just set up the height uh, based on where you're sitting, and then whether it's in the raised position or the lowered position, uh, you can still look at your monitors and, and they raise or lower with the desk, which is pretty cool. Now, in case any of you guys are looking at this like a, like a setup video or something like that, I do want to point out that this is still a work in progress, very much so. We're no, by no means finished with this room, although it has come a long way. I've set up this smaller desk over here on the side and right now it's, it's got a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, I have a set of drawers that I have bought that I'm going to put in this corner right there. That should help me declutter a lot because if you guys saw the establishing shot when my desk was still over on this side, it's just piled with stuff and honestly that's because I, I really don't have any drawers or storage or anything like that in here uh, on a functional level. So we'll be adding that as well. Now you might notice that we have a printer over here which is just a monochrome laser printer. And then you might also notice the uh, computers which are tucked down here, uh, not on the floor, not on the floor, but they are off the desks again just because they're heavy and uh, don't want to put too much weight on the desks if I can avoid it uh, just to keep things minimal as far as what goes up there. Also it's nicer to have a, a minimalist setup on the desk. 
So what's coming for the future, uh, stage two of this uh, computer room project, is going to be a custom made unit for this little corner down here because uh, I like the computers down here. I don't want them to be up too, too high. I want to lower this. This is my main computer. I want to lower that one down just a little bit. I'd like to raise my wife's computer up, the top box right there as well. I'd like to raise that up a little bit. Uh, and then that, that's my NAS right now, which currently isn't plugged in or running or, running or anything like that. It's, it's literally just there as a stand. So I'm going to be swapping that out. So I think I'm going to build a custom unit for right here at a couple different levels that the computers can sit on. There's a decent chance I'll also take the uh, printer and maybe see if I can get that back in the corner over there as well to kind of use up some of that space. Make things a little bit more presentable here so it's visible. And then also create that box so that the lower part of it can be used specifically for cable management and storage because uh, there are probably a lot of you who are looking right now and being like, Paul, cable management, come on, come on. Because yeah, I know, I'm very aware, I'm very aware that needs to be done and that is coming very soon in the future. I actually bought a, a bunch of cable management stuff that I'm going to try out. Uh, we did get a chance to go by Ikea. Uh, quick word of warning, don't go to Ikea on a Sunday afternoon if you can possibly avoid it. It was a really harrowing experience, but I was able to track down the signums. So I have some signums that I can drop in there. And then I've also got a set of stuff that I got from uh, direct from Amazon. I'm going to try that out as well. But the reason I'm showing you guys this sort of in-between phase is one, well, we got a lot of work done under here and that was useful. Uh, but two, uh, I just wanted to point out that cable management is not necessarily something that you can just sort of attack and tackle all at once, uh, especially in a sit-stand desk situation because the cables coming from the back of these monitors are limited in size. So if I want to run all the cables properly, which would include like running them down the actual monitor arm and there's a little plastic uh, box right there with a caddy that allows you to do that, uh, there's a good chance I'm going to need longer cables, whether we're talking power cables, display port cables, HDMI cables, and that kind of thing. So that's part of the reason I got everything set up here first, so I can get some measurements, see what cables need to be replaced, and then also, of course, build that box down there so that the uh, computers can be set up properly. And then, like I said, I want to build storage for cables and cable management that's under that box. Uh, I do also have a UPS back here, so the UPS should be held in the box as well and that will tidy everything up. And I really want to get this, I really want to get this space looking good. Uh, I want to get the cables super clean. I want to have them all hidden as much as possible. And I uh, also need to fi fix that, that wall outlet. That wall outlet is not working. Uh, the one last thing to mention about the controls on the desk is uh, there's the M button that you can use to set what uh, preset height you want it to go up to when you press the presets one, two, and three. There's also a T button and you can use that to uh, do a timing mode. So basically tell it how much time you want to be in one position like if you're sitting and then it'll warn you after a certain amount of time to like, hey, you should stand up and then let you stand up. Because the basic idea overall is that you should try to stand as much as possible and sit as little as possible. So this allows you to still work at a computer while doing either one and easily switch between them. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this was our weekend project and I think it turned out pretty well. Although again, there's still more work to be done. So I'll be covering the uh, cable management in here as well as hopefully a custom build of a little, uh, a little box down there to keep the computers off the ground and do some cable management uh, retention in there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you guys next time.